Hey everybody! Today, Rado runs through Dixit. And I am not alone today. I am joined by my wife, Jen, and by friends Gordon and Mark, who are actually board game developers. They're behind Vengeance and Posthuman, and they're visiting today. And that's very, very convenient for me, because i got to do a run-through for Dixit, and it requires at least three players. But the more, the merrier. So we're going to do a couple quick rounds of Dixit to give you guys an idea of what it's all about. Although, before you go on, I should say, we are actually playing on the Dixit Odyssey board, um, which is actually interesting. The original Dixit can play up three to six players, but Odyssey uh, lets it go up to 12. And while we're only playing a four-player game today, if you're looking and saying, hey, that doesn't look like my Dixit, because the original Dixit has this incredibly lovely, charming scoreboard where little bunny rabbits frolic through the board as players uh, earn points. And with Dixit Odyssey, you get this more I don't know, steampunky industrial board that functions probably a little bit nicer. And, uh, right, we're going to be good to go. Now, here's the way it works. By the way, did I let everybody say hi? Everybody say hi. Hello. Hey. Hello. Okay. So here's the way it works. Everybody starts with a hand of cards, and these cards are funky, interesting, beautiful, surreal pieces of art that just have a lot of weird stuff in them. <laughs> and we all look at our hands, and... We are, when it becomes our turn, we are supposed to become the storyteller. We are supposed to say a phrase, or a word, or a sound, or a snippet of a song, whatever we want, that would represent one of the cards in our hand. And when we do that, everybody else um, tries to find a card that matches that, and then we put all those cards into a pot, shuffle them up, and everybody takes a guess to see if they can find the right card. So, I'm not going to talk about it anymore, we're just going to do it, and um, the first player as a storyteller is the first player who comes up with a story for their cards, according to the rules. So, All right, got it. then Gordon is the storyteller. Tell us. Well, Tell us. Well, this is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> That's a clue. Well, this is awkward. Okay. Oh this is awkward. Oh. Hmm. All right. Okay. I've got one I'm pretty happy with. Yeah. Right, and it's very important nobody looks at anybody's cards because that just kind of gives it all away. So once Mark, who is the most AP prone player I have ever played with, even in the Dixon, he is analysis paralysis prone. Uh, once uh, Mark comes up with his, Gordon will take all the cards, keep them face down, shuffle them up, and then put them all out on display. Yeah. And it is going to be our job to try to figure out which card Mark or uh, Gordon chose when he said, "Well, this is awkward." I don't know why. These guys don't look anything alike. We're different but I, people. I know. We're the same size, but we're different people. <laughs> Even little people are different. <laughs> well, they were sitting opposite yesterday. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, we played another game, and Mark was sitting there. It's true. It's next true. Time switch. Next time switch. Okay, yeah. so I just uncover them. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. just uh, each one goes in one slot. Oh, uh, sorry. for the camera. So the nice folks. Oh, no, actually you did have it right. I'm wrong. Right. So, yes, that's correct. The nice people at home can see. Okay, so, well, this is awkward. <laughs> One of these is Gordon's. And we are all now going to take our little secret thing and our little secret peg and secretly choose numbers three, four, five, or six. Um, except for Gordon, who is out, because of course Gordon knows what it is. So, Jen, Mark, and I are going to try to figure it out. And here's the thing. When Gordon gave his clue, he kind of wanted to give an imperfect clue. In a perfect world for Gordon, exactly one person chooses correctly and all the other ones choose wrong because of the way scoring works. Now I'll explain that once we actually reveal and we'll see how scoring shapes out. But Gordon is, is hoping that only one of us gets it correct and the other two of us get it wrong because that will be the maximum amount of points for him. So, well, this is awkward. And what do we have? We've got a Dragon, oh, yeah, okay, and we've got a snake with a thing, and an ogre with a little boy, and balloons looking at Top Hat Man. All right. All right, and so, oh, now I should say, by the way, this is interesting. For folks like me who have the first edition of Dixit Odyssey, we all have these nice little boards in our player color. We have these little pegs we're supposed to do, and we put the peg in, and say I chose number three, Oh, it falls down. It doesn't really work. Apparently, they fixed this uh, 
the pegs got were, are different in the reprints that came later, but if you get a first edition of Dixit Odyssey, basically what you have to do, you just have to hold the board in your hand, keep it secret, choose what you want, and then everybody will reveal at the same time what they think is the correct one. So nobody can choose their own. Everybody's trying to figure out which one Gordon's is. I know for a fact which one's Gordon is. Yeah, it's pretty obvious, I think. Um, <laughs> and so is everybody reveal? Okay, everybody reveals. All righty. Well, it was apparently not obvious. There was a vote for number six, for number four, and, and number for number five. Okay. Hey, Gordon, which is yours? Number six. All uh, right. Yeah. This is the perfect <laughs> outcome for Gordon. Because here is the thing. Let's say um, Gordon gave a, 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 re a really obvious clue. You know, it's too obvious. Like, dragon looking at footprints. He could have said that as his clue, and then everybody would know, oh, well, that was, if everybody tried to pick Gordon's, then he gets nothing if he's too obvious about the clue, and then everybody else gets two points. On the flip side, if Gordon gave such a ridiculously obscure clue that made no sense whatsoever, just made up some gibberish and put some stuff out there, and then he runs the risk of nobody picking his thing, then again, he gets no points. But um, because somebody did pick his thing, he gets three points. So, Gordon, who is the, what color are you? Orange. You are orange. Well, Gordon gets three points. And the player who did it, this was me, I also, because it was obvious, this is obviously the one, I also get three points. Now, I don't know what Mark and Jen were thinking. I thought this was a bit more awkward than that. But. That's, yeah, I, I thought I was <laughs> that, totally... That was my card, so I thought... That, that is so much more yeah. awkward. Come on. I don't think that's. Why did you go for that? This is this is this is a sweet and charming picture. That's, sure. Yeah. Yeah. You got a big old what? Little guy in the middle of woods. There's a dude leading little kid into dark um, woods. <laughs> I, I guess I did not think of that. And All the right. big dude looks like he's got his bum out, but it's not a bum. It's yes, it's a weird yeah. shirt thing. Yes. Fair enough. I couldn't okay. figure out what's that actually. Is, I think the skin is kind of a shirt. Isn't it? Is the skin? Yeah, well, yeah, he's, he's wearing a flesh-colored shirt, <laughs> under, uh, uh, which is, which, like I said, has gone over to look like ash cheeks, which, while a little boy looks at him and smiling. Itself. Why would you have a flesh-colored shirt in the first place? Well, see, now this is the interesting thing. Apparently, Mark came up with something, and such a, an incredible fit, that if I had gone this way, um, then Mark would have gotten two points because no, two Jen, people. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Jen would have gotten two points, point. and Gordon would have gotten nothing. But fortunately, I didn't. That just looked like a sweet, innocent, charming picture. Of me. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I am uh, missing some social cues here. <laughs> yeah. I guess. So anyway, so right. Gordon and I both get three because um, you know Gordon didn't get a blowout, and I was correct. Uh, meanwhile, Mark and Jen both had a vote, so they both get one. And I thought mine was pretty good. This was mine. It seems How's that awkward? Well, I mean, because he seems kind of angry to be held on a string by these face, by these uh, placid. It was, it was yeah. the best I had. Yeah. That's another thing as well. Sometimes yeah. uh, players will say a, a clue, and you got well. I don't. None of these fit. I'll just mm. try to do the best I can. Yeah. And so apparently, mine was the worst fit. The least awkward. And um, so. So what happens if two people vote for the right one? Then um, Gordon would get three and both of the players who were correct would have gotten three. So, if Jen had been right, she would have jumped up here to be at three points as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then it's one point to... So it's only if everyone votes for the right one. It's... If everybody votes for the right one, that means Gordon was too on the nose yeah. with his clue, and therefore he gets nothing, and the rest of us all get two right, points. Two points. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So, that was that. We take our uh, things back, and these all just get discarded. And we all get a new card. Bippity, bippity, boppity, boo. And I believe we just go clockwise now, right? After the yeah. first player. Yeah. So now it is Jen's turn to be the story teller. Ooh, okay. Right. And while Jen's thinking about hers, of course, players can be thinking about, you can be looking at your hand, deciding what your story is going to be when it eventually comes up. Because again, it's tricky. What do you got, man? Gurgle. 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 <laughs> See now, it's just and, a fun word. Yeah, uh, it, it is a fun word. Um, <laughs> gurgle. Gurgle. Wow. Mm. Looking at these upside down doesn't help. <laughs> this will often be the case. You'll give a clue and you're like, oh, I got none of these. But I, I, you know, and if nothing else, if you have a card you have no idea what to do with, just dump it because mm -hmm. um, yeah. you don't have anything good anyway. So you can get something better later. Uh, yeah. All right. There we go. Okay. 
All right, so Jen will take that, shuffle it up. Because Jen's at our mercy. If we all had terrible cards and she had a good card, we're all just mm -hmm. going to pick hers out of the lineup and she'll get nothing and we'll all get points. So that it's the, the, the main skill of this game is picking a good clue, but not too good a clue. A general clue, but not too general a clue. I think what I should have done is, is said blue. <laughs> With the benefit of hindsight, yeah. Blue obviously was the right thing. Oh, we just right. said blue. Gurgle. Gurgle. Yeah. Gurgle and gurgle. 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 Nothing gurgle. says gurgle to me. <laughs> well, then maybe this is going to work out for Dan. I expected to see a fish in a fishbowl or something uh, when, you, when you said gurgle, but um, wow. Wow. Gurgle. This is also an opportunity to get to know people because after we're done, whatever happens, the person has to explain what the heck they meant because often it's just weird, random nonsense. Um, wow. And everybody but Jen votes. Um, jeez. Jeez. I got I'm, 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 I have no I idea am stumped. What none of these say gurgle to me. I am stumped. Um, yeah. And of course, you know, I mean, Jen could be really, she could be having double meanings. Also, it's an interesting thing element to this game. Um, if you know one player around the table really yeah. well, mm -hmm. you can kind of slip in like inside jokes that yeah. only you and that player know, um, which is something you got to watch out for. But I can confirm, in this case, there is no inside joke. Uh, I am as baffled as you guys. I have no idea what this means when she says gurgle. Um, Quite frankly, I want to vote for my own, because I think that's the best one, but I will not. Let's see, I'm down to two. Of course, you folks can play along at home and make your own votes and see if you got it right or not, if you could read Jen's mind. Um, gurgle. Gurgle, all right. I'm going for mine. All right. And again, like I said, if you've got the first edition of Dixit Odyssey, you just have to hold the thing in your hand like yeah. this. I'm holding the... it, 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 it works fine. All right, everybody ready? Yeah. yeah. I went with three, three, and four. four. All righty. So, honey, which one were you? It's this. You got all these pipes. All right. So, so, nobody got it. There's even a lake of water faucet right there. There was a million other things you could have said. <laughs> I think gurgle. The, I think the, I, you get gurgle from this. See, now this is a case of probably being a little bit too broad, a little bit too generic. Oh. Since nobody went for yeah, Jen, it, it doesn't bad. matter what we did. Jen gets nothing, and the rest of us all get two. All right, okay. and so that's it. Meanwhile, I liked mine because it's a girl, and there's fish. Lies in. So yeah, girl. Yeah, that's what I went for. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And I went for three because <laughs> because there's a girl in there. I thought maybe she was being clever. Um, and you're saying you... What, what, does, what noise does yeah, water going through pipes make? It makes gurgly noises. It's a gigantic typewriter! Does it? I don't think... I don't know. Is it gurgly uh, Maybe noises? a half-empty pipe? But there's no evidence. It's a very specific kind of... And is, is that a watery spring? I'll be honest, I didn't see that. Is that a, is is that that a leak? Well, it's a water spigot. Oh, it's a spigot. Okay, if that were oh. water coming out of it, maybe... Okay, but anyway, okay, folks, okay. I didn't uh, just, uh, you can uh, comment uh, whether you think, um, whether, I'm genuinely curious if anybody <laughs> chose that, or who knows, maybe the entire okay. audience chose that and just none of us understand Jen. But as it is, that was not a good round for her. Doesn't matter what we voted on since nobody went for Jen, everybody gets two except for her. Oh, it doesn't um, matter who voted for Jen. Exactly, oh, no. yeah, 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 exactly. Uh -huh. So that's it, we take our chips back, which means Jen is still in last place at yes. one. Everybody gets a card. We'll just do one more quick round. It doesn't matter if anyone voted. I thought you get points. And do you? For you? Do you? I think it's been a while since I played. Here is a reminder. Scoring. If all players find the storyteller image and no player find, uh, or, or no player finds it, the storyteller scores no points and other players score two. In any other case, the story player scores three, as does anybody who does, who who uh, chose theirs. Each player, other than the storyteller, scores one bonus point for each vote earned. So okay. I am not certain. We have always played it that if it's a washout, it's just two across the board. But the way this is written... No, it says in every other case. Yeah, well, it says every other case, but then it's a separate bullet. Oh. Each player that the soldier scores... So, one to the rules, lawyers! Yes. Oh, no! Uh -huh. What? <laughs> We're not gonna... What if no player... Uh, yeah. That's one case. 
No, no, but the, you do these in, in order. Yeah, I mean, do, does that... Do, Each player, do, other than the starter, has scores then, bonus point? Yes, of course. Okay, then. Then Jen and I have been playing it wrong all these years. So what, what did it come out then? I went with so, three. Oh, yeah, you voted for this. So right, and there were two four. for that. So, so, I got two more points. So I get one point. Once. And Mark, who is black? Or, or gets, uh, yeah, I think I stepped with another color, with blue. blue. You were blue. <laughs> all right, so you get one point and I get two points. All right. Wow, yeah. yeah. I have to admit, I've always misread that, that, okay, in any other case, that means everything past it, but you're right, it's a separate bullet. Terrible. I would call that open to interpretation. Yes, um, folks, as always, <laughs> watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on, uh, because, <laughs> uh, you know, if we played it right, Kurt, we, we, things are fine. If we played it wrong, Paulo will have noted it. Always watch my run-throughs with the Klingon subtitles turned on. So anyway, did we all get a card? We should all have six again. One, I two, three, three, four, yeah. five, six. Alrighty, Mark okay. is now the storyteller. Story. Take us home, buddy. The future is bleak. The future is bleak. That's really specific. <laughs> or is it? The future is bleak. All right, shuffle them up. That's a, that's a good one. That turned out to be a very good clue because we were all able to deliver something good for it. I think. And of course, you can't vote for your own. Yeah, yeah. Mark is Mark is just sitting back and watching. No, no, oh, you no, are not allowed to vote on your own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're trying to find marks because you, I mean, because you want to find marks because that means you get three points if you nail it. Yeah. And if you instead choose mine, you gave me a point. Mm -hmm. um, the future is bleak. Mm. I have made my decision. Sudden reveal. Yeah. Number three. Six. Ah, uh, wait. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I did two, it was meant to be oh, five. Oh, yeah, yeah. And Mark. Hey. What, which, what, you don't have to, which one is it? <laughs> it was four. Number four? <laughs> no one guessed, apparently. Oh, no! <laughs> Everybody, we, you missed it entirely? Yeah, apparently. That would have been the favorite. Yeah, I mean, this one's scary. perfect. I don't know how, why didn't anybody else choose this? I mean, she's, it's clearly a bleak situation. She's that was mine, yeah. Yep, yeah, all right, so. All right, all right, so Mark failed this miserably. Meant to Everybody be people gets... looking towards their future. Mark doesn't get two points, we all get two points. Yes, and, and then in, in the case, meantime. These are more looking at the future, so. Yeah. Looking. Yeah. This, yeah. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I think this is the worst one. I think, I think we <laughs> yeah, chose true. correctly. Yeah, so, real again, <laughs> everybody gets two points except for Mark, and then ev everybody went the other way, everybody gets one additional point. Which means Jen has caught right back up, and um, folks, I think I'm going to stop right there, because that should give you a pretty good idea of what Dixit is all about. Now, if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen, or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.